Junction. Hey! A carrot! This will be a good snack for later. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta get these oats over to the snack machine. Huh? Chris, there's a hole in the back of oats! I thought it was getting lighter. Ah! Whoa! Where did this come from? Oh. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. This tree must have fallen down in the night. It's huge. Let's call Zabu. Yeah, he'd love to see this because lemurs love trees. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Hey! Hey, Zabu, how you doing? <laughs> so, Zabu, what do you think about that tree that fell into Animal Junction? Zabu? You know Zabu. He never talks until he's finished his snack. I'll be right back. Papaya! Here you go. Oh, yeah. Zabu loves this orange fruit. He doesn't really like these little bally things inside, which are seeds, but he loves to munch it. How'd you like the papaya? <laughs> Molly seeds are hard, but yummy fruit is soft. Well, you sure love eating it. I do, I do, too. <laughs> yeah, Zabu just plain loves eating. I do love eating. I do, too. <gasps> the creature I saw in the forest loves eating, too. He wasn't so sure on his legs, but he sure was eating. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? Mystery! She had four long, knobby legs. And besides eating, she was running around and playing when I saw her. Her neck was long, and she had a big snout. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. She had a swishy tail and hair down her neck. <laughs> Nobby Need player who likes to say, Do you know who she is? Okay, let's see. Long legs and knobby knees. She went clip clop, clip clop when she walked. Mm -hmm. A foal. A foal? Yeah, a foal. Mm -hmm. A baby horse, of course. Hi. She must have followed the trail of oats into Animal Junction. Nogahika, mystery animals here. So this is a baby horse? Wow, she ever fuzzy. Yeah, you're right, Zob. Look at her mane. It's so soft and fuzzy. And so is her tail. Fuzzy tail. <laughs> Look at this. Can I call you Fuzz? Because you're all fuzzy. Fuzz is a great name. Fuzz. Fuzz. Yeah, I like that name. Wow. It sure is big. This has got to be a first. A lemur riding a horse. <laughs> you look good, Zob. Thanks. 
<laughs> oh, look! I'm riding a Zaboomafusaurus! <laughs> hey, you want something to eat? Remember that carrot I found before? Now, I know I have that somewhere. Let's see. Where'd I put it? Okay, I found it over by the jungle path, and then I walked in there. Where did I put it? Fuzz found the carrot! Hey! You found it! Are you hungry? No. She's not hungry. Well, maybe she wants to play. Maybe that's it, Zop. Foals are just like so many other baby animals. They love to play, and playing actually helps their muscles become big and strong. Of course, foals love to play, and when foals play, they love to run around. Hmm? Run around? How do we run around with this huge tree right in the middle of Animal Junction? We can hop. It's easy. Hop. <laughs> Come on, Fuzz. Hop. Hop. We can hop and hop around anything. Woohoo! That leaping lemur. That's easy for you, Zob. And easy for us. And a full-grown horse could jump over this tree, but it's just too big for a young foal. But if she's so young, where's her mommy? Well, foals are never far away from their mom. Yeah, minutes after a foal is born, he stands up. And he always sticks close to his mom so she can protect him and teach him things. Oh, so Fuzz's mom must be close by. All right, we have to figure this out. Hmm? How do we get this foal's mom into Animal Junction? And get this huge tree out. Hmm. <gasps> Mine good, Sika, I know, I know, yeah! <laughs> Lay it on a sob. First, you and Chris move this log out of Animal Junction, and then you go find your mom. All right, let's start with the log. <laughs> All right. Easier said than done. Well, why? There's only one little problem with your ideas, Ob. We just don't have the muscles it takes to get this huge tree moving. Well, I'll help. All right. Yeah, try again. OK. okay. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Use those lemur muscles, Ob. Push, Zabu, push. <laughs> Hold everything. I just had an idea. Uh, where's your idea? I, uh... <laughs> it's inside my head, Zabu. Huh? I think I figured out how to get the mother horse in and this tree out. Oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We'll be right back. <laughs> so, uh, you want to hear a story till your mom comes? <clears throat> I was leap leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard somebody say... Hey, Zabu Dabba Dabba Doo. Hey, who said that? Dooba Dee, it's me. Who's me? It's me, Zobsta. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Bugly. Zabu, my leaping little lemur. Want to go for a Whoa. run? <laughs> well, I guess so. Whoa. Hang on. Whoa, you run fast. <laughs> Why, thank you, Zabooba Dee Dee. <laughs> I run fast because I have grippy feet and long legs. That gets me running like the wind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> can you go any faster? Does a bug have a lot of legs? Sure I can. Hang on to me, Zap Booba Dee Dee. <laughs> we ran faster and faster and faster yeah. until <laughs> we were flying. We were flying high. And that's my story about a lemur riding a bug. <laughs> like that one, Fuzz? Well, that was a first, too. <laughs> hey, look. No, not over here, over there. Look who we found! <laughs> this is a Belgian, and she's the foal's mom. Oh. Wow, that's the biggest idea I ever saw. And isn't the foal happy to see her mom? Belgian horses are one of the largest in the horse family. They're the largest I've ever seen. <laughs> but you know what, Saab? Not all horses are big. Martin, remember when we saw those miniature ponies? Yeah, we were horseback riding, and you said to me, Hey, Martin, stop the horse. This is a miniature pony crossing. What? Are you sure? Yeah. A miniature pony crossing? <laughs> yeah, stop the horse. <laughs> OK. Whoa. Good boy. All right. Where are the miniature ponies? Here they come! Oh, 
<laughs> okay, now we can go. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know, Belgians are one of the biggest, strongest, most powerful horses in the world. But she's incredibly gentle and tame. But you know, before you pet a horse, always make sure a grown-up says it's okay. I can't believe my mind. Fuzz is drinking milk from her mom. The foal's happy to be with her mom again. Hmm, I think the horses are getting sleepy. Could be. You know, a horse can actually sleep standing up. They sleep standing up? Wow. She just locks up her legs so she doesn't fall down, and then she goes to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Martin must be tired. <laughs> but Martin can't sleep standing up. Hey, but the foal likes to sleep lying down. Do you mind if I use your uh, hoof as a pillow? Oh, oh, thanks. We like to sleep on horse hooves. <laughs> this can only happen in animal junk. <laughs> so, huh? up here. Oh. Look at that big eyeball. Yeah, she does have big eyes. Did you know that horses have the biggest eyes of any land mammal? A horse eye is even bigger than an elephant eye. And it's not only her eyes that are incredible. Can you believe that a horse's hoof is like one giant fingernail? So, a horse stands on two fingernails and two toenails. Well, she has only four nails. Well, I've got to one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. <laughs> See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> my fingernails are for running! <laughs> you feel her hot breath out of those big nostrils? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. warms my head. Yeah. You know what I like, too? Her chin and her lips are so jiggly. Look at that. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Look, hey, you want to see your teeth? Wow. Look at those teeth. Oh, wow. Big teeth for a big creature. <laughs> hey, you know why her lips are all like this, too? Mm -hmm. These lips can grab onto grass. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know they ate grass. Oh, yeah, a lot of grass. And a horse's lips help find and help gather that grass, and then her teeth cut it. This kind of eating is called grazing. Grazing? Yeah, grazing. You know, and sometimes a foal will make a mistake and graze on the wrong thing, like sand. But by the time he's about six months old, he'll learn how to graze on grass, too. Well, we found the foal's mom, but we still have to move this tree. Well, now that we have a little help, we can. It looks like big help to me. Yeah, it's time to get this tree out of here. OK, girl, we'll get you geared up. Huh. Huh. I'll tie this end of the rope to the tree. And then this end over here. Huh. Chris ties one end to one end. And Martin ties one end to another end. Yeah. Okay, how's it going, Martin? Hey, hey, I'm a little stuck. <laughs> Guys, Chris, Martin, I, I'm, I'm a little bit. Okay. Oh, guy. Oh, uh, Chris, Martin, I. Oh. Uh, Chris, I didn't think. Guys, guys, Chris, Martin. Chris, Martin. Whoa, Zach, you, you're a little tied uh, up. There you go, buddy. You. I was a little stuck. Uh. uh, uh I, uh, I meant to do that. Okay, this is secure. This hooks in here. So, Fuzz, what do you think? Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, let's get this tree out of here so we can run. Does look good here. How you doing back there, Chris? Almost there, just a few more hooks. How's it looking, Zob? Are you sure she's gonna be able to pull it? Let's find out. All right, all set. All right, you ready? All systems go. Come on. Dig in. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Oh! Yeah, you 
can do it! Come on! Dig in. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Look at him go! You can do it, yeah! Oh, great, good! It's moving! All right! Oh. Yeah, yeah, come on, pull, heave! Yeah, yeah, you're doing good! I can't believe my mind! She pulled it out all by herself! I could have done it for you! But nobody asked me. Hey, thanks a lot for helping us. You want some oats? All right. You did a great job. Need some food after pulling such a huge tree, don't you? How about an apple? Or an apple, too? <laughs> she ate the whole thing. <laughs> Listen to the sound that horses make when they chew. You want to try it? has room to run around. Now that the tree is gone, the foal can run. I want to be like a horse, yeah! Come, Come on, let's, let's run, run like, like a, a horse. horse! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel horsish, how about you? Horsish! I feel horsish! Ah. Horsish! I'm a fussy little foal and I love to run around. <laughs> Strong Belgian, I can move a tree. Horses! Goodbye, little fuzz. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for clearing that tree out of here. Yeah, we really couldn't have done it without you. Come back soon. Incoming! Duck! <laughs> it's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those wings. Woo! Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Oh. Ah, here it is. All right, let's see what she's up to. Yeah. It's from Jackie. I love riding on horses, especially with Sheba. Oh, no. Sheba, don't eat that. Does that look like food to you? I don't think so. I'll take care of this. A styrofoam cup might not look like food to us, but it might for a horse. Sheba could have eaten the cup on the stick. That's why it's important to put garbage where it belongs and where animals can't get at it. A carrot tastes better anyways. Horses, I love horses. Yeah, we have to do more stuff with horses. I have an idea. Why not go riding? Great idea, Zob. To the closet? To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their Here we go. split. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! They're going on a cool adventure, and yeah, they don't know what's, what's in store. Yeah, they're they're running, running from the closet, the closet and they're the headed out the, the door. Riding horses is the coolest. It's a great way to see the wilderness. Yeah, and you don't even have to be going anywhere. You just ride for the fun of it. Riding a horse makes me feel like a baby baboon on his mom's back. Because baby baboons ride on their mom's back when they're between 6 and 12 weeks old. A baby baboon grabs onto his mom's fur and hangs on tight. It's a great way to get around. Mark, let's pick up the pace. All right, we're moving into a trot. Now I feel like a baby lemur riding on her mom's back. When a young lemur like Zabu rides on his mom's back, he really has to hang on tight because his mom leaps all over the place. And we have to hang on tight, too, because a horse can really move when he wants to about 45 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car can go. Horses are better than cars. They don't need gas. Just hang out to you to be their buddy. And a horse can go through terrain that a car just can't get through. And this terrain's pretty bumpy. I'm bouncing around like a baby kangaroo in a mom's pouch. 
A baby kangaroo is called a joey, and he stays in his mom's pouch where it's warm and cozy. But when she gets going, it can get pretty bumpy in there. Woohoo! Now it's time to really ride! They stopped. They're thirsty. Just like people, horses need a good drink every now and then. You guys all filled up? All right, let's head back to Animal Junction. Wonder what that leaping lemur's up to. Zabu's gonna love to hear about this. Yeah, I wonder what he's been doing. Oh, yeah. More horses? horses? Wow. Hey, guys, two striped horses came to visit. Wow, a zebra mom and her foal. Hmm. <laughs> They're a zebra family, <laughs> and zebras are part of the horse family. Look at all those stripes. Why zebras have stripes is still a mystery. Some people think it confuses their predators like lions. When a lion looks at a herd of zebras, she sees so many stripes, she doesn't know where one zebra ends and the other begins. Other people think that stripes help zebras recognize each other. How long have you guys been hanging out, Sabu? Hmm, enough for about a thousand tail wags. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, those tails just keep going and going, huh? They never stop. And tail wagging helps shoo flies away. Look what these zebras do. They stand this way so that when they're waving their tails, they shoo flies off of each other's faces. Look at her tail. It never stops moving. The mom's really good at it. But the foal is learning fast. There she goes. <laughs> I love zebra manes. You know how most horses' manes flop down over to one side? Well, a zebra mane stands straight up in the air. And it has stripes. You know, Zob, every zebra's stripes are a little bit different. Well, how come? Well, it's kind of like Martin and I. We're in the same family. Yeah, we're both Kratt brothers. But we look different. I have blue eyes, and I have brown eyes. And I have yellow eyes. And, like us, the zebras look a little bit different. You can tell they're both zebras, but if you look really closely, you can see a different pattern of stripes. Do you see the difference? Wow. Zebra legs are so strong and muscular. That's how zebras can run so fast. Yeah, zebras are big, powerful creatures. Big? That reminds me of my biggest friend in Zabu land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, leap, and I stopped to take a rest in a tree. Oh, well, well so all of a sudden, I could hear Goobel and Nogandril talking well, on the ground below me. I mean, that's the thing. Well, yeah. yeah, what am I gonna do? I jumped down to see what they were talking about. Hi, guys, is there a problem? Well, Zabu, I want to go visit my aunt, but it's too far to walk. Well, he doesn't know how he's going to get there. I've got an idea. Zabumafuasaurus! Here she comes! <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Zabumafuasaurus. Can you give Nogandril a ride on your back somewhere? Sure, hop on, Noggy. Well, how am I going to get way up there on her back? Oh. Way too high. We'll do it the way I do. Yeah. Take one big lemur leap. <laughs> well, great. Oh, problem solved. Let's go. I can't jump up that high. I'm no lemur. There is another way. <laughs> Get on Zabumafusaurus's tail, and she can lift you up. Woo! See? It's easy. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Come on up. Okay. Here you go. Whoa! whoa. Yeah. Thanks, Zob, you're right. That was easy. Oh, thanks, so we all climbed up on Zabumafuasaurus and went to visit Noggendril's end. <laughs> oh, hold on tight, guys. Blueberry <laughs> muffins. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a fun tale, Zob. Yes, yeah, Zabumafuasaurus is big like the Belgian horse. Great big. Well, I loved how she pulled the tree out of Animal Junction. And I loved Fuzz. <laughs> Fuzz was great. And I love those zebras. There is nothing better than horseback riding. Those horses love to run. Oh, I love horses. <laughs>
This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his body behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by We're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today Bye, Zabu! Keep on leaping, lemur. You ready for another trip? Yeah. Let's go home with the zebras. We'll see you later. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Somewhere in Africa, I guess. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and this is my cat, Simba. Simba's a tabby cat. Woo!